So making a gradient brush might not be as hard as you think. You only need a couple things. What you're gonna need for this build is a long measuring stick or a short measuring stick, paint brushes, screws to hold in the paint brushes, and then a drill. So what I like to do with my brushes is pre-drill my screw holes. So if you take if you take these all the way out and pretend like there are no holes here, what you do is of course mark where you want to put them. Don't screw it all the way through. Just get them just get them in the paintbrush. They're not they're not coming through at all. Do that with all of them. And then what you can do is line up your measuring stick, you know, get it raised off the table so you're not screwing, drilling into the table. That would kind of suck, wouldn't it? You wanna, you know, place all of your brushes relatively where you're gonna have them. And then you wanna line up your measuring brush accordingly. Something like that, right? Now what you're gonna do is line up your screws to the stick. And drill it in. And the reason I'm using two screws is so that the brush doesn't move back and forth. It gives it a really, really nice firm grip on the measuring stick. So next you wanna line your next paint brush up with the tip right here. You wanna make sure these two are flush with each other. It's like this might be off a little bit. You don't wanna measure that because your, your tip will be off. So you wanna go and make sure it's the brush head that's even with each other. So now I have that one lined up. Fill that one in and if it, if it like skews that way, all you have to do is turn it. You know, turn it and hold it. Make sure it's it's against this other brush. Try not to screw too hard, because you will break your brush and your measuring stick. This is not this is not a drilling contest. All you got to do is is get the screws into the other piece of wood. I mean, you can see that I've already split some of these pieces doing this, so it's it's very easy to split your paint brushes. Just try your hardest not to. You'll be fine. And again, make sure all of your brush heads are lining up. And for the the length of the the screw that you're gonna use for your brushes, it really depends on how thick of a brush handle you have. So these screws are almost an inch, but they won't go all the way through this piece of wood. So what I had to do is take it and put it through the handle. If you got a little bit thicker of a screw, you would be able to go through this handle and it would be, it would be a better fit if we could do it like this. I tried, but they didn't, it was just a little too short. So next time, next time I do this, I'm gonna get longer screws and I'm gonna do it up here because that, that's how you really want it, is right there. If you can get those screws to link up with your other piece of wood up there, that's what you want. But for this, we have to do it this way. Still works the same, it's just, you know, it's a little, little less sturdy. None of the screws are poking through too bad. You can't see any of it. There are some with the smallest amount 
of the tip of the screw coming through, but that's not bad. That's why you wanna, you wanna know how big of a screw you need or how small of one. I would say if you're gonna go up here, use an inch or an inch and a quarter. If it does come through this backside, you can use it that way. You just, whenever you're using it, you're gonna do this. So your hands are gonna be on the screw. But you know, if you can, if you can avoid putting your fingers on it while you're doing this, that's fine. It's, it'll work. It just, you know, you might hurt yourself at some point. And uh, that's how you build this brush. Each time you use it, you want to brush your brush heads off. And then when you're done with it, you want to get it to the sink as soon as possible. If you let it sit overnight, all of your brush heads are going to go stale. They're going to turn hard and it's not going to be good. I've done it to a couple of mine and they're expensive brushes like this pack. This pack of what? There were 10 of them, I think. Pretty sure I spent 30 to $40 on them. So, you know, brushes aren't that cheap. So you want to take care of them as much as possible. These sticks, that they, they're literally free. If not, they're $2. Uh, and for these big ones, you can do this with the big canvases. That's why I have a big one and a small one. These are for my smaller size. This one's for the bigger size. It works, but you kind of have to build your brush depending on what canvas size you're wanting to use. All right, so that is how you build a gradient brush. If you want to see me using it, click this link right here. It'll take you to the video. And uh, that's about it. If you got something out of it, hit that like button, please. That would help me out an insane amount. And hit that subscribe button for more acrylic vibes. I'll see you in the next one.